I'm not a writer. Okay. <laughs> Thank y'all for tuning back into your favorite channel. It's your boy Pelican Bay K9s giving it to you that we always do. Fair and unbiased. Some gonna like it, some ain't. Man, y'all hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. Don't forget to hit that like button. Go ahead and hit it right now so you won't forget. Big salute and big shout out to my brothers and sisters down in the chat. Big shout out to the brothers and sisters that was down in the chat off the last BKK live saturday night live video and the low man kennels video y'all go check them interviews out if you haven't checked them out yet big salute to all the dog lovers from one side of the world to the other side of the world back to the us of a like i always say you know we got some dog talk dog news <laughs> wow we taking some folk off the internet today you know what i'm saying and we just we got some more updates on the raw bull situation and we just talk with some dog, dog talk. You know what I'm saying? Some dog talk. Um, first thing I want to speak on before we get deep into that, I want to speak about them Frenchies. You know what I'm saying? I made a comment about that on Facebook. You know, them Frenchies, man. Everywhere I look, every single place you look, somebody got a Frenchie. You know, and what I, the comment I made was, give it a year or so, them Frenchies will be $150, $200, $250. Because of the simple fact that matter is, the people that I see with these dogs do not know anything about breeding, do not know about genetics, um, getting the right structures. All they breeding for is them little pretty looks, um, them little colors, and they try to hope that they can sell the way everybody else, everybody else say they selling theirs. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's just the, the, the breed, I see the breed in the process of being destroyed. You know, um, and, it, and that's the same way the pit bulls was years ago. So many people got their hands on them too. You can't really get a, a good quality dog. You know, um, uh, you can find a pit bull on the corner. You might go pay a thousand dollars for a dog that ain't nothing, and you might can go find a dog for fifty dollars or a hundred dollars that might do everything you want to do. When it comes to pit bulls, cause any and everybody got them. You know, and that's the first step of destroying a breed. Once any any and everybody get them. Then any and everything goes down with that particular breed. And that's what I meant by the Frenchies. You know, just look at it. Just everybody want to cash in on a, what they feel like is a cash pot when they don't understand there's a whole lot of things that go along with them Frenchies, you know, that you got to do that a lot of them ain't going to be ready for. You know, they be looking to sell them dogs and looking to get rid of the ones that they thought were studs and, and, and brood bitches. Because of the fact that the matter is, there's more money involved than what they thought is. And, and, and being that so many people getting them, they're not going to invest that money into them. And there's going to be a lot of ruining going on. You know what I'm saying? A lot of ruining going on. But let's keep this thing moving, man. Big salute and big shout out to my brothers out there holding it down. You know what I'm saying? Um, big salute. And I'm waiting for the winners to come up on the dog shows. Um, big salute to the brothers who are going to be first, second, third, fourth place. Um, big salute to all the brothers that competed. Because like I said before, um, to the brothers that be talking trash and all kind of stuff about these brothers competing. You know, it takes, uh, you know, it takes something more than what you got, you know, to compete. 
Because obviously, if, you have, if you're not competing, you shouldn't be talking about what somebody else is doing. Now, one thing I want to say that I'm being that I'm talking about this digital dog show. You know, um, y'all go back six, seven, eight months because we like to get forgetful. We like to start forgetting things. And when we say things, we like to forget them. Y'all go back eight months. Uh, a majority of y'all was saying F the dog show. Y'all dog fighters. Y'all don't do dog shows. This and that. Trying to down the digital dog show. Pelican Bay was standing up. No matter what the popular opinion was eight months ago. You, you know, no matter what the popular opinion was, I was going with the right. You know what I'm saying? When they were saying, oh, we dog fighters, I, I was saying, go with the right. But now when you come present day time and you start looking at these same ones that were saying they was this, forget the dog show, forget this, forget that. It's like everybody get forgetful. You know, on their own terms. That's why I tell y'all I don't live by that code y'all like to live by. Because people only want to be comfortable for that code that they claim that code when it's comfortable for them. When it's time for you to live that code, then you can't do it. You know, for your, your partner, man. But when you need it, did you want it, did Nah, fuck all that. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like I said... A lot of y'all wasn't standing up for this breed. What's right with this breed? Big shouts out to that. Uh, bro, I can't remember if it was a brother or sister, but I remember somebody told me a couple weeks back that they went to a, a community meeting, city hall meeting about the pit bulls. And, you know, they did their part. And you did your part. You're right about that. You know what I'm saying? Big salute and big shout out to you. Because a lot of these folk, a lot of these brothers and sisters scared to stick their neck out. And I'm going to step on a lot of toes today. Titan Kennel. Titan Kennel. It's op this is what you call Operation Shutdown. When I make a man get off his Facebook, shut his whole Facebook down. You know what I'm saying? When I tell a man to mind your business, play game, play time is over. You know? So I'm going to get into that Titan thing in a minute. And we got more information on that Raw Bull stuff. Plus, I got some more information about some other stuff. Because this the dog channel that's going to give it to you the way I got to give it to you. Fair and uncut, raw and unbiased. And the thing about it, like I said before. It's up to you to make decisions to go the best route in your life. You know what I'm saying? We all grown. I'm going to do me. You got to do you. You know what I'm saying? You got to do you. And like I said before, how many of y'all was standing up for that digital dog show seven, eight months ago when you was looking for views, trying to down this and trying to down that? Looking for views, trying to get kicks off of putting the next man down. Y'all, y'all be getting real forgetful in this dog community. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get real forgetful. But it's all good. Because at the end of the day, PBK stands for the betterment of this breed, not the betterment of these people. Because one thing about it, when it comes to the dogs and these people, you're going to always have people that want to feel like their way is the right way or this way is the wrong way or whatever or whatever. You know? All I can do is give that news like a news anchor is supposed to do and let you handle it from there. You know what I'm saying? Let you handle it from there. Now, one thing I want to say, one thing I want to say, you know, it's a difference between accusing somebody of something and just looking at something playing out simple in your face. Looking at it unfold playing out simple in your face. You know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about uh, the Royal Bull stuff. But what I want to talk about is Titan Kennel. Craig, see what you should have did is mind your business. I want y'all to watch, look at these texts. Craig talking about me, apparently. You know what I'm saying? Him and his little flunky friends talking about me. And then <laughs> I'm responding back now. And I'm telling you, you know, y'all can't, what y'all can't do, my brothers and sisters, you know. I'm going to speak on something else I've seen sisters talking about on Facebook. What y'all can't do, blame other people for what y'all did and what y'all doing. See, they want to talk about all oh, these YouTube channels making them hot. Listen here, man. Not one of them folk got up there with them bus talking about a YouTube channel outside of Buck City YouTube channel. You know, that's the only YouTube channel they were talking about. Everything them folks say that y'all did to yourselves, y'all did it through WhatsApp, 
Telegram, and Facebook groups. Them folk telling y'all, y'all want to make up other stuff and act like you don't hear what's going on and see what's going on. Them folk telling y'all that y'all doing it to yourselves. Now, Coy, y'all boys just got knocked off. You right on Facebook again talking about it ain't over till it's over. Talking about this, talking about that. And then I turn around and see a female dog person who y'all hold. I mean, hey, it is what it is. Seen a female say, they got busted. Oh, they out this fast? Oh, something ain't right. Then I turn around and see that same female up under the people that she talking about saying, stay strong. We behind you, this and that and this and that. Listen here, man. That dog community is a bunch of backstabbing, talking behind each other back. Everybody want to be Maurice Carvers and this and that instead of being your own man. Like the BKK say, damn all them old schoolers. You know what I'm saying? Y'all washed up and trying to keep all that old school ass washed up dog stuff relevant today. And it don't mean nothing today. This was getting brothers in trouble, really. Worrying about and trying to be all them old school dog men when they can't be them brothers today because this ain't the same day and time. And like I said, this here is the video where I'm going to make Titan Kennel shut his Facebook page down. Craig, you're going to shut your Facebook page down today. You know, <laughs> you better be worrying about Puma sorry ass puppies. You know what I'm saying, Craig? You better be worrying about how you taking brother's dog money for them stud fees and getting mad because they want to see your dog stuck to the dog. You know, you got brothers like Maul Cut and Breeding Hound Dogs to pit bulls. And then you get mad because I want to see your dog stuck to my dog. And you want to charge all that money. Ain't you part of them groups? See, this is the thing about it. I see, I done seen it. All y'all big kennels right here running around with like chickens with your head cut off now. Don't get scared now. Don't come, don't come trying to, I told y'all a couple videos back. Don't come trying to run over here. Hiding and using everybody else for your own problems. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it, you know, this is what I don't understand with y'all brothers. And it's the same thing that got y'all brothers in trouble. Today, they telling y'all Facebook, stay your ass off Facebook. Y'all got something to prove to everybody. Y'all want to be so big to everybody. Coy, you don't got to prove nothing to Facebook. You got to prove something to them lawmen, that prosecutor. Them judges and that jury and all them folk like that. Why is you on Facebook talking about this, talking about that, fresh out of case? Now, Titan. I tell you, I'm going to make you shut your Facebook down, your social media down. Not because I'm trying to save you. Because I'm going to teach you about minding your own effing business. You know, minding your own effing business. Now, Titan, didn't y'all just get busted a little while back? Now, this is what I want my brother Garcia to do, my brother Titan to do, you know, and anybody else who done been down that road of getting tangled up with them dogs and getting in trouble with them dogs. Titan, you've been in trouble, right? You've been in trouble. So don't you get up here and just help brothers and tell brothers how not to get in trouble. You don't want to do that, right? That ain't helping Puma sell his puppies. That ain't helping Puma sell his puppies. And messing with me ain't helping Puma either. Because I'm going to make you shut your whole social media down. Craig, today. See, I want y'all to watch, look at this text coming from Craig and his friends. You know what I'm saying? Coming from Craig. It's, Craig should have already have enough problems. He worried about Hollywood and worried about Coy. And you're worried about the Lowe family. And listen here. I got video that I'm about to show y'all. We talking about Tom Garner connection and all that shit. See, this is the thing about it. Y'all want that old school dog game. Well, y'all can sugarcoat shit, make it look good for y'all, make it look, make y'all look big time, make these folk look big time. Nah, we in the era of pulling them sheets out. Y'all like to throw rocks and hide behind the sheets. Nah, I done pull all the sheets out now. You know, let's just come all out with it. You know what I'm saying? Let's just come all out with it. Number one, tighten, shut your Facebook, YouTube down. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep coming on you until you shut it down. Since you wanted to mention my name. Hold on, I got to stop real quick, brothers. I got to stop. I got to give y'all the first group of texts so I can let you see what they be talking about on these Facebooks. You know what I'm saying? These big time kennels. 
and then be so called don't be want to mention my name. But see, my mama and my my daddy sent me to school for twelve years or more to learn how to comprehend, to learn how if you're talking about me, you know, <laughs> say it. Don't be a pussy. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, didn't y'all just get knocked off a couple years back? Titan, didn't y'all get knocked off? And from what I hear, one of y'all wasn't the one that was supposed to get knocked off. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, that's why I tell you, mind your business. Mind your business. Because what I heard, after you got knocked off, y'all came back with a bunch of fake sperm, fake semen off these dogs, that dog, these dogs. You know, artificial, fake this, fake that. <laughs> yeah, we got AIs for this, AIs for that. Tell them the truth, Titan. See? You mind your business sometime. I was talking about the news. Which y'all brothers got. This is what I'm trying to figure out. And I still can't realize, figure it out. We got Chris Cuomo, ex-CNN. Don Lennon, ex-CNN. Anderson Cooper and all them brothers. All the local news anchors. But y'all cowards can't find one time to press the dial button and call them up and ask them why they putting out the news about y'all. But y'all want to have all the all the sense when it comes to the bait. Don't try to bring me in, y'all. <laughs> I'm doing my thing the way I'm supposed to do it. <laughs> Don't try to see one thing about it. A lot of y'all brothers try to be what we call cover up brothers. Acting like you're going to these dog shows. Acting like you're doing this. Yeah, you're going to this, but you're still living another way. You see? <laughs> Trying to live on both sides of the fence. And then get mad because your ass hot and your friends hot and you know they're going to tell on you. And now you're trying to throw other people out there and say, oh, this and that and this and that. I told y'all to keep your ass off Pelican Bay News. You wouldn't be up here. Now Titans get up on Facebook and just talking out no for no reason. For no reason. About the bay. I'm going to teach about, like, like when Mule say, I'm going to teach about uh, that, the bay by the sea, the bay by the ocean, the bird by the ocean. You know what I'm saying? A bunch of old school, washed up ass dog men who wanted to be the way it used to be. And because it can't, <laughs> you don't care, you're willing to down it, you're willing to send anybody into that fire. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like I said, I got dog videos, we got all kind of stuff. And y'all brothers always, y'all be killing me getting in my chat talking about y'all, just y'all last day here, y'all leaving. Listen here, man, do what y'all got to do. Y'all be saying, oh, he's talking about too much police, showing police too much, this and that. Listen here, man, do what y'all got to do. Do what y'all got to do. At the end of the day, we all know that you got too much pride to say, oh, I don't like him, but I love his channel. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. All I'm going to do is keep giving it to you. Some going to like it. Some ain't, man. PBK9s. You, you think I started my shit up off of worrying about if I can fit in with y'all boys? How can I fit in with y'all boys when half of y'all ain't never bulldog? You know, how can I fit in with you? I don't understand what you want, what you're looking for, Titan. You're making yourself hot like them folks say. You're on Facebook. You want to be something. You know? You're on Facebook, you're in them groups. You're trying to be you're trying to be chiefs in them groups. You're kicking brothers out for all kind of stuff in them groups. But yet you posting, I seen brothers post a straight up dog fight and talking about it's a puppy dogs playing inside of a box. How ignorant how ignorant can that be? You know? A bunch of ignorant people doing ignorant shit amongst each other and then wondering why they're getting in trouble. <laughs> The feds on WhatsApp and damn uh, Telegram. And y'all right here thinking yeah, they can't be encrypted. A bunch of smart ass Einstein ass dog men that can't even figure out how to breed their dogs. But yet they can figure out about these encryptions with these phones. They know how to tell you how to stay safe off these phones. They can't even figure out something simple like breeding damn dogs. And that's why y'all ass in trouble. And trying to blame my damn YouTube channel. Them folk ain't saying nothing about no YouTube. Them folks say keep y'all ass out them damn Facebook groups that y'all in talking that bullshit all the damn time. Bragging about weights, bragging about matches and shows and all that other shit. Yeah, that's what them folks said. Now, Craig, 
you're going to take that Facebook page down. Or you're going to be begging me to stop. Because I got a bunch of, let me first, let me get into this first Raw Bull, um, Raw Bull update. You know what I'm saying? We got updates. More than one update. And we got some updates that y'all need to really listen to in the computer voices. You know what I'm saying? So let me get y'all into that first one first. You know what I'm saying? Why Titan go to the log out and cancel his little Facebook and all that. Why he doing all that? Y'all check this out. Update Raw Bull. It ain't for me to choose whether it ain't for me to say whether they were right, whether they were wrong, whether they innocent, whether they guilty. I'm a damn news journalist. You can kiss my damn ass. I'm giving you the damn news. Tonight we're learning some startling new details about a massive raid carried out of the Cumberland County compound. Chopper six overhead today as dozens of police and federal agents combed through the property here in Morris River Township. Police now say they recovered more than 100 dogs breaking up what they call one of the country's most prolific dog fighting operations. Action News reporter Chad Berdelli spent this entire day near that scene today. Chad, a lot of charges have just been filed against the family that lives there. Brian, so far seven people have been charged and the alleged ringleader goes by the nickname Hollywood. And we've learned he has a lengthy criminal history. Day two of the extensive search of this property in a 5300 block of State Route 49 in Morris River Township. Drone 6 was above as the multi-layered investigation continued. At one point, officers dug dirt and pulled out a large white tube. It's unclear what it is, but court records say 103 fighting dogs, equipment, and other documentation were recovered from the property yesterday when Action News exclusively captured the raid. Two dead dogs were also found in a pit. Bruce Lowe Jr., known as Hollywood, his son Bryce and mother Terry are now facing a slew of charges, including dog fighting, money laundering, racketeering, and other charges. Law enforcement began investigating after getting tips beginning in late 2021. Lowe Jr. is accused of being one of the top five dog fighting breeders in the country, running his operation through Royal Bull Kennels on the property. This is its website. And investigators say it used terms like game dogs and conditioned weight, which are dog fighting terms. Charging documents also say his dogs were highly sought after in the dog fighting world. Lowe Jr. allegedly told an undercover officer he did 61 concerts last year, code for dog fights, and made money by selling dogs on stud fees and gambling. The money was allegedly laundered through a legitimate construction company also based on the property. William McClinton, Coy Dickinson, Travis Guerin, and Roosevelt Hart III are also charged in the case. And in 2006, Lowe Jr. pleaded guilty to drug and gun charges and reportedly had a bunker on this property. He was sentenced to more than 12 years behind bars. Now, the New Jersey Attorney General's office is leading this investigation but had no comment, citing the ongoing investigation. Live in Morris River Township, Chad Perdelli, Channel 6, Action News. Brian? Incredible to think all this happening in plain sight down there, Chad. All right, man. All right. Like I said, giving y'all that news, fair and uncut. You know what I'm saying? Big salute and big thanks to everybody that wished me happy birthday. Big salute to the brother Samurai that celebrated his birthday a couple days ago. You know, and big shout out to all the people celebrating birthdays in the month of April. All my Aries people. You know what I'm saying? Big shout out to you. You know, um, hey, all I gotta do, all I can do, man, is be me, give this dog news the way I give it to you. Like I told you before, this dog news is gonna be a necessity to my dog lovers across the world. One day, this dog news will be a necessity for you, like your pedigrees, like your paper, like your dog food that you gotta get to feed your dog. It's gonna be a necessity. You're gonna need to see it, no matter what breed is about. It can be about shih tzus, chihuahuas, pit bulls, bullies, band dogs. You're gonna need to see it. It's gonna be something here for you. You know what I'm saying? Something here for you. Whew. I gave you that Dr. Death news last night. I told you about Dr. Death getting busted over there in Europe in the dog fighting ring over there in Europe where everybody always want to keep talking about, oh, they can do what they want over there. They can do what they want over there. You know what I'm saying? They got the ban on the bully breed. They didn't have the ban on the American Pit Bull Terriers and all the places. Some places, but not the ban. They talking about them bully breeds. But they banned them XL bully breeds. They banned totally, you know. But them Pit Bulls is a different story because brothers say them Labradors and all other kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So it's different, you know. And who, 
I'm going to give you that news, man. It just is what it is. You don't like it. And like I say, when you you want to go to war out here, y'all brothers be thinking it's going to be a 30-day bomb on you, airplane tactic. Y'all just going to run a brother out, and that's it. Y'all better be sought and ready for guerrilla warfare, man, Vietnam style, Iraq style, <laughs> Afghan style. Be ready for the long haul, guerrilla war when you come at the bay, man. It just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I got to play it how I got to play it. You know, a lot of y'all talk a lot of shit with no credentials. You know what I'm saying? Y'all leading brothers down the wrong paths. Leading brothers straight to destruction. You know what I'm saying? Straight to destruction. Without a care in the world. You don't even care that you're doing it. You know what I'm saying? All you care about is getting a view. That's why a lot of y'all channels is fucked up now. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of y'all channels rely on what I say. To, to, to go back and remake what the fuck I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is, man. And like I say, salute to them brothers in that digital dog show. You know what I'm saying? Salute to the Shogun crew, the Shogun army. And by golly, see, there's a difference between me and the rest of them folk, man. M1. <laughs> how, how, tell me how. This is what I want to figure out right now, M1 and everybody. Tell me how Buck City Kennels can benefit being involved with the Shogun Army. Tell me how somebody who already got a reputation and already got a, a tag on a <coughs> dog name with these folk can do anything good for somebody that's trying to do good with you if they're not trying to do good. If they're not trying to do good, how can they bring any good to the table? Answer that for me. Not Brother Samurai. You know, not brother, um, none of them other brothers. You know what I'm saying? Just the one that was talking. See, this is what it's about. Are you really trying to better this breed? Are you really trying to help your partner? Or are you just trying to look good on the side? You know what I'm saying? Are you trying to look good on the side and talk a slick talk? And, 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 and walk that slick walk? But you can't, one thing about it, man, like I said before, like I said before, the hell with all y'all washed up ass, West Coast ass, wanna be ass, old school ass dog man. You know what I'm saying? From Garcia on back to the Ram, the rest of them. You know what I'm saying? All of y'all, you know, washed up, wanna be old school, your era is over. O V E R. Over. You know what I'm saying? I asked Garcia, let's drop the link. Let's talk about how we can keep these brothers from making the mistakes. See, you need to be trying to keep these brothers from making the mistakes where they can't own a dog. See, I can own dogs. There would have been more mistakes I would have been telling brothers how not to make. See, I'm trying to tell them not how to get their dogs taken. You should be trying to tell them, Garcia, how not to get, they, they, how not to get themselves in a situation where they can't own a dog. Nah, man. No, man. It is what it is. The hell what y'all talking about. You know what I'm saying? Y'all heroes ain't my heroes. You know, at the end of the day. My heroes stand up for the breed. You know, stick their chest out for the breed. Talk about the good, the bad. Don't hide the ugly. Y'all want to sugarcoat all that shit from the past. And make these folk from the past be up on a high level. When damn that shit, they ain't doing none of the shit we doing now. In the era that we doing this in. That shit they did. Anybody can fight a dog. You know what I'm saying? Stand up for what's right for this breed. You can't do that. We ain't talking about a feed or a keep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's good to learn how to. The health of a dog. All that's good and dandy. But what's affecting these dog brothers more? The health of a dog? Or the system out here that's playing against these dogs? And you tell me I owe somebody an apology. I tell you what, I apologize when all seven of y'all uh, that jumping on these panels get up there and apologize to me. You know, that's when I apologize. Other than that, it is what it is. I'm on a crusade. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. We're talking about uh, Raw Bull. Not whether he's right or wrong. We're talking about the news incident. 
You talking about Titan Kennel? Selling all them, them washed up Puma dogs to people and getting mad? Probably ain't even pumping them off Puma. Like I said before, you got Maul Cunt over there breeding to hound dogs. And you think brothers don't want pictures of their dogs stuck to dogs? You got Maul Cunt taking losers and studding them out? You think brothers don't want pictures of their dog, pictures of their dogs stuck to your so-called Puma dog, Titan? Y'all brothers got in all that trouble and came back. Everybody know that y'all got in all that trouble. Came back with a bunch of fake. Not saying Puma fake. With a bunch of fake AI. Y'all got sperm off this. Y'all got sperm off that. Sperm off this. Folk know what it is with y'all. I'm going to make you shut your Facebook down, Craig. Craig, is that you? Is that you, Craig? Craig, is that you? <laughs> Listen here, man. Some gonna like it, some ain't. At the end of the day, I stand up for the better men of this breed, man. <laughs> and to do what, I, what I'm trying to do, stand up for the better of this breed, it's gonna be all the little flunkies like a lot of y'all boys that be up on these Facebooks. You know what I'm saying? That I be, gotta show you this, these texts. Hold up, hold up. Now that was that was Titan and his little flunkies talking about the bait, you know. But it just is what it is. Y'all always blaming somebody else for the stuff that them folk telling you that you're doing to your damn self. Them folk playing out simple telling y'all that y'all doing it to yourself. Y'all looking for everybody else to blame. Everybody else to blame. But let me give y'all this very important video. You know what I'm saying? It's in computer voice, but you know where you got it from first. And, and like I said, the stuff that I, I replayed it, it's some very important stuff that y'all need to hear in this. We're talking about how they say Hollywood, Coy, Tom Garner, and all y'all involved in the same situation. they talking about how the kids snorting and family snorting coke and all. Man, listen, y'all check this out. And I'm glad y'all listening to it because y'all know if I said it, I'm going to say it. Computer voice. That means... The, the, the mother journalists out there talking about it. So y'all check this out, and we're going to talk about it when it's done. New Jersey dog fighting suspects include Lobrio, Low, and Lower. April 5th, 2024 by Merritt Clifton leave a comment. Three generations of one low-life family involved. Maurice River Township, New Jersey members of three generations of an alleged dog fighting family who have variously used the names Lobrio. Low and Lower were taken into custody on April 3, 2024, along with 103 pit bulls, by a posse including police from Ohio, Connecticut, and Washington, D.C., reported John Paul of WPVI Television in Philadelphia. They were joined by federal agents, the United States Department of Agriculture, and the Defense Criminal Investigative Service, Paul added. What was the U.S. military involvement? The Defense Criminal Investigative Service is the criminal investigative arm of the Office of Inspector General, U.S. Department of Defense. Why military police were involved remained unclear more than a day later. The property was mostly fenced off. Several large buildings, trailers, and an RV were also inspected by officers. Paul continued, yellow no trespassing signs that warned the video surveillance were posted all over the area as well. Two vehicles were towed away from the property. Neighbors said the owner has been in trouble with the law in the past. Paul finished. Top row, Bruce Gordon Lowe Jr., Bryce Lowe, and Terry Ann Lowe, also known as Terry Lower. Bottom row, William McClinton, Coy Dickinson, Travis Garin, Ann Roosevelt Hart III, left in limbo, but not for long. Paul identified neither the suspects nor the cause for the bust, leaving the curious in limbo. Linda Cohen, founder of Breaking AC, covering nearby Atlantic City, on the morning of April 4, 2024 named suspects Bruce Gordon Lowe Jr., 45, Bryce Lowe, 20, Terry Lowe, 67, William McClinton, also identified as George McClinton, 68, Coy Dickinson, 58, Travis Garin, 37, and Roosevelt Hart III, 
29, Tom Garner American Pit Bull Terrier Breeder, Facebook Photo, Tom Garner Link. The animal's 24-7 team soon identified Nalos as members of the family formerly known as Lobrio, and identified Bruce Gordon Lowe Jr., using the name Bruce Lobrio, as an associate of Tom Garner, a North Carolina pit bull breeder since 1978, who was convicted of dog fighting in 1994. A North Carolina pit bull breeder since 1978, who was convicted of dog fighting in 1994, in April 12, 2000 raid by the Sheriff's Office in Roanoke County, Virginia, found 73 pit bulls chained to trees and old car axles on property owned by Tom Garner, and another 19 pit bulls on neighboring land belonging to alleged dog fighting trainer Kyle Arthur Pierce. Evidence found during the Pierce bust led U.S. federal agents to the home of his former housemate. Philip William Reynolds, publisher of the underground American Gamatog Times Magazine Plus and accompanying website. An April 12, 2000 raid by the Sheriff's Office in Roanoke County, Virginia, found 73 pit bulls chained to trees and old car axles on property owned by Tom Garner, and another 19 pit bulls on neighboring land belonging to alleged dog fighting trainer Kyle Arthur Pierce. Evidence found during the Pierce bust led U.S. federal agents to the home of his former housemate. Philip William Reynolds, publisher of the underground American Gamatog Times Magazine Plus and accompanying website. Garner, however, was only charged with not licensing the pit bulls on his property. Garner, however, was only charged with not licensing the pit bulls on his property. Two pit bulls were held as evidence. The rest remained on chains. Garner kept 71 of the pit bulls, after paying $2,026 in fines. Bruce Lowe with Mother Terry Lowe. Facebook photo, Low and Lower. Terry and Low has also used the name Terry and Lower on documents naming her as owner of the Kistler Group, a construction firm headquartered at 5308 State Highway 49, near Husville Road, Maurice River Township, New Jersey, just east of Millville. Bruce Gordon Low Jr. is listed as general manager of the Kistler Group. All seven suspects are also identified on various documents as residents of the property. But Bruce Gordon Lowe Jr. reportedly resides at an address in Mill May, Buena Vista Township, New Jersey. Garen reportedly resides at an address in Port Elizabeth, Maurice River Township, New Jersey. Hart reportedly resides in Millville, Royal Bull Kennels. Facebook photo, Royal Bull Kennels. The 5308 State Highway 49 address doubles as the location of Royal Bull Kennels, a pit bull breeding compound allegedly owned and operated by Bruce Lowe Jr., 45 who calls himself Hollywood, observed Cohen, we do not break any laws. Royal Bull Kennels writes on its website, the disclaimer makes clear that the company run by Bruce Hollywood Lowe Jr. knows dog fighting is a felony, money laundering. We are not interested in going to prison at any point in time, the website states, but that may be exactly where Lowe and others are heading, variously charged with racketeering, money laundering, corporate misconduct and animal torture, Cohen said. In addition to the live pit bulls, Cohen mentioned, two more pit bulls were found dead on the premises, according to affidavits that tell a tale of an enterprise that used a legitimate construction business, Kister Group LLC, to launder money. Lowe Jr.'s Milmay home was also raided, with one dog found, Cohen continued. George McClinton, living next door to the Kister premises, had 22 dogs taken, dogs chained, living in barrels. Roosevelt Hart III, identified as Lowe Jr.'s son-in-law and business partner, had two dogs seized from his home in Millville. Court documents show, Coy Dickinson had dogs chained in the yard and living in barrels and kennels around his trailer on the Millville compound. The affidavit states, Cohen reported, Mark Runkel, 42, an alleged Royal Bull Kennels employee with a record including alleged contempts of court and parole violation, was released on a summons and not jailed, Cohen said. The other suspects were informed that they were being released with required court check-ins. They also are barred from having contact with any pit bulls, but can keep any pets. Cohen summarized, Bruce Gordon Lowe Jr. Facebook photo, China Connection, the Royal Bull Kennels website, besides advertising pit bull stud services and training equipment, purports to have linked up with one of the leading biotechnology laboratories in China, Synagene, as of March, 2023 to offer pit bull cloning. Law enforcement began investigating after getting tips beginning in late 2021, reported Chad Perdelli for WPVI later on April 4, 2024. 
Lo Jr. is accused of being one of the top five dog fighting breeders in the country, Pradeli said. Lo Jr. allegedly told an undercover officer he did 61 concerts last year, which is code for dog fights, Pradeli added. Bryce Lowe, Facebook photo, the family that snorts together. Bruce Gordon Lowe Jr. on September 28, 2006 pleaded guilty to unlawful possession with intent to distribute 50 grams of crack cocaine and possession of a firearm after having been convicted of a felony according to court documents, and on October 21, 2008 was sentenced to serve 151 months in prison, reduced to 120 months on appeal. Bruce Gordon Lowe Jr. on September 28, 2006 pleaded guilty to unlawful possession with intent to distribute 50 grams of crack cocaine and possession of a firearm after having been convicted of a felony according to court documents, and on October 21, 2008 was sentenced to serve 151 months in prison, reduced to 120 months on appeal. Arrested with Bruce Gordon Lowe Jr. in 2006 was his girlfriend, Sabrina Melendez also listed on various documents as a resident of 5308 State Highway 49 in Maurice River Township, mother of current dog-fighting suspect Bryce Lowe, Sabrina Melendez, later Sabrina Melendez Figueroa, died in Vineland, New Jersey, at age 41 in 2021, Bruce Lobrio slash Lowe Sr., Facebook photo, chip off the old block, also arrested with Bruce Gordon Lowe Jr. in 2006 was his mother, Terry and Lowe, also known as Terry Ann Lower, who was then a corrections officer at Bayside State Prison in Leesburg, Maurice River Township. Terry Ann Lowe entered a pretrial intervention program, forfeiting the right to any future public employment, reported Jason Lede for the South Jersey Times. Bruce Lowe Sr., originally Bruce Lobrio, father of Bruce Gordon Lowe Jr. and husband of Terry Ann Lowe, was in March 2007 sentenced to three years probation for cocaine possession, Lede added. After Bruce Lowe Lobrio was charged in July 2009 with among numerous other offenses, leaving the scene of a three-car accident that left one vehicle in flames and a motorist with serious injuries. After leaving the scene, the Port Norris Police Department statement said, Bruce Lowe Sr. entered a wooded area several miles away and began to alter and make repairs to his vehicle. Pitbulls from Royal Bull Kennels website, 2017 Millville Dog Fighting Bust, the April 3rd, 2024 raid on the Royal Bull Kennels location was the second big interstate dog fighting bust in the Millville Maurice River vicinity, population about 34,000, within seven years. Frank Nichols, 40, of Millville, New Jersey, in August, 2017, pleaded guilty to one felony account of conspiracy to transport, deliver and receive dogs intended for use in an animal fighting venture, and one felony count of possessing a stolen firearm subsequent to a felony conviction reported Vincent Jackson, staff writer for the press of Atlantic City, also pleading guilty to multiple felony charges in that case were Lydell Harrius, 32, and Anthony Monty Gaines, 36 both of Vineland, New Jersey, pleading guilty to single felony counts were Pedro Cuellar, 47, of Willow Springs, Illinois, and Mario Atkinson, 42, of Asbury Park, New Jersey, 9 convicted, from October, 2015. Through June 1, 2016, Jackson wrote, The defendants who pleaded guilty and their co-defendants and associates participated in dog fights, including to the death, and trafficked dogs with other dog fighters in New Jersey, Indiana, Illinois, New Mexico and elsewhere so those dogs could be used in fights, authorities said. Others convicted of federal crimes in connection with the case were Dajwin Ware, 43, of Fort Wayne, Indiana, Robert R. Ayano, 62, of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Robert A. Elliott, S.R., apparently also of Millville, New Jersey, and Justin Love, 39, of Sewell, New Jersey, released without charges was Tiffany Burt, 34, of Vineland. Pitbulls and Trash Bags The Millville area has also been the scene of multiple discoveries of dead pitbulls, including three found in trash bags in a vacant lot on January 1, 2009 and another found starved to death in a pen behind a vacant house three weeks later. See, this is the part of the dog game they wanted to keep quiet. You know, that's why I tell you, everybody hero ain't the same. Y'all hero ain't my hero. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I don't wish no bad on no brother. You know, don't wish no bad on no brother. But I clear. You know what I'm saying? I clear. 
Boy, folk involved with a lot, a lot of trouble in this dog game, in this dog community. A lot of problems that it shouldn't have been out of. And it's, and it's still pressing the issue. Still pressing the issue. Pressing the issue. You know what I'm saying? And then when they get in trouble, want to blame it on somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Want to blame it on somebody else. Like I said before, man. Like I said before, you know, PBK9's giving it to you. Them folks just told you, you know, hey, you got the Tom Garner Picnic Council. Tom Garner Picnic Council, and he having a two-for-one sale over there on them 45-minute dogs. Two-for-one sale over there on them now. You know, the, the value of the Tom Garner dogs just went down. If he's selling them cheap like that, well, how the hell can you sell them high? You know, he's selling them two for one. So how can you sell them high? Now, if you're doing everything right, why you got to shut down your, your, your pig picking? If you're doing everything right. You think ADBA going to shut down the ADBA show because all that shit happened? Hell no. No. You heard them folk in that video just now. You know, everybody involved together. That's why Titan, that's why all of them on Facebook running around like chickens with your heads cut off. You know what I'm saying? Running around like chickens with your heads cut off. From the women to the men. All y'all old school ass washed up ass relying on that old school, them old school dog men. Stay in your lane, y'all, your ass is out of here. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't talking about them brothers from a couple days ago. I'm talking about all y'all old school washed up ass brothers that try to lead these younger brothers down the wrong direction. You know what I'm saying? We ain't having that no more. New era. New, 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 new era. It just is what it is, man. And we ain't fit. We not finished with it yet. I want y'all to check this video out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, big salute out to all my dog brothers. Big salute out to City Boy Kennels. Mr. Mister uh, 216. Uh, big Logic. Um, Liquid Lucky. Rachel Shaw. Uh, um, Legion Fury. Um, um. Oh, uh, Skip Bell. Oh, yeah, brother. Big salute to my brothers. Hunt down. Arrowhead and them brothers. You know what I'm saying? All them brothers. Hemi James, salute all y'all brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, the brothers that's doing the right things with these dogs. You know, um, but I don't really know what y'all, what y'all, you know, what y'all look, not y'all brothers. I don't know what they looking for. You know what I'm saying? I keep telling y'all, like, now just imagine y'all only listening to pedigrees all year long. Yeah, if y'all only this dog community only had pedigrees all fucking year long, you know how much shit you would be going by your head, <clears throat> and you thinking this dog game is back in the nineties? Because if you wouldn't have got no dog news from day one, you'd be still thinking it was like it was in two thousand two. 2003 talking about certain ones here and there here and there you know but boy man look at this dog game <laughs> look at this dog game in shambles and like I said before all y'all big ass killers that run around here trying to blame everybody else for y'all fucking up on them Facebook groups <laughs> that's y'all man that's y'all you know what I'm saying shut your Facebook page down operation shutdown you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. <laughs> what I'm supposed to do? But get the news. You know, if you want to get up here and talk, you're always welcome to get up here and talk. Don't come up here with your lying. Don't, don't come up here with your scared tactics. You know what I'm saying? Keep them same tactics and that same energy y'all got on Facebook when you come up here on my channel. Like I tell M1. You know what I'm saying? Keep that same energy. You know? It just is what it is, man. Is what it is. A lot of folk don't stay in their lane. A lot of folk, hey, I'm just going to give it to you, man. I'm just going to give it to you. You know, give it to you. Doing all I can, M1, to help your page grow, man. I'm doing all I can to help your page grow, M1. You just can't supply them boys what they're looking for, M1. You know, um, I mean, I'm telling them, I'm, I'm talking shit about you. 
I'm trying to get you some views. I mean, you just can't supply what it needs for us, this dog community, man. You know, you can't, you can't give them the spinach. You can't give them the juice. You can't give them the vitamins, the vegetables, man. You know, I mean, hey, I tried, dog. You know, I tried. So it is what it is, man. Now, why do we seem to have it? Why y'all dog brothers seem to uh, think going to jail is cool? I'm convinced about that as well. The dog community seem to think about doing things to go to jail is cool. Doing things to keep you in the j the jail uh, radar is cool. And the guys who the guys who like to do the right and legitimate things, they the geeks, they the nerds, they the the corny people. I'ma be corny. I'ma be geek. I'ma be police officer, whatever you want me to be today. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't trying to go to jail if, if that's what it is to be cool. I ain't trying to be cool if, if I got to go to jail to be cool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we done established we can make money off of doing the legal stuff, doing the legal stuff with these dogs. We done established that. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't about that. It's about having a reputation for some of y'all brothers. Egos for some of y'all brothers. You know what I'm saying? That's why y'all getting what y'all getting. <laughs> and that's why y'all on Pelican Bay K9 Dog News. Like Titan Kennel. Craig. You know what I'm saying? The guy that got to shut his Facebook down. You know? Got to shut his Facebook down. And you're going to have to shut it down. I, I hate you when you can't sell none of them Puma puppies, boy. You know? Like I said before, get up here and talk about when y'all got fucked up in the dog game, Titan. That's what you get up here and talk about. And stop trying to blame everybody else because y'all ass around here damn hot as hell. All y'all motherfuckers hot. Y'all don't know which one. Yeah. Matter of fact, matter of fact, I got the bell, the bell video. It ain't clear. It ain't clear. Y'all don't pay attention to a little bit of background talk. But you know where you got it at first when it comes to these dog channels. PBK9s. You know, what they call them? Hollywood? Bell hearing or something. You know what I'm saying? PBK9s. Give it to you. That's why y'all running around here with your head cut off and call all on Facebook and I'm talking about this and talking about that. Listen here, man. Y'all supposed to be old schoolers. Y'all should know better than all that. Y'all should know better than all that. But I tell you what, y'all should y'all should have y'all old schoolers, y'all should have knew better than what y'all did from the start. Just stay where you were. Alright. You're charged with second degree racketeering, second degree conspiracy, and the age of dog fight. Second degree dog fighting, leader of a dog fighting network. Second degree promoting organized street crime. You're charged with second degree money laundering. And second degree operating a business for criminal purposes. Crimes of the second degree are generally punishable by five to ten years New Jersey State Prison. And they carry a presumption of incarceration. You're also charged with third degree dog fighting, third degree possessing a dog for fighting, third degree handling on dog fighting, third degree possession of dog fighting paraphernalia, third degree cruelty to animals. Crimes of the third degree are punishable by three to five years in New Jersey State Prison. You're also charged with fourth degree identity crime. And fourth degree tampering with records, crimes in the fourth degree are punishable by up to 18 months in New State Prison. You have the right to remain silent. Any statements you make, Kevin, will be used against you. You have the right to be represented by an attorney. You're being represented by Mr. Leonard today. If at any reason, for any, at any time, you're unable to have Mr. Leonard, you have the right to apply for the public defender. You may be eligible for the pre-trial intervention program, but to consider for that program, you must make an application. You may be eligible for drug court, but to consider for that program, you must make an application. And if you're a veteran, you may be eligible for the veteran's diversion program offered by the prosecutor. You have the right to have a hearing as probable cause the right to indictment by the grand jury and trial by jury. You may also choose to waive an indictment or a trial by jury. If you choose to waive trial by jury, you will be tried by the court in that instance of judge will determine whether you are guilty or not guilty. Mr. Lowe, where were you born? 
Continue to blame everybody else for y'all making y'all mistakes. You know, it's it's a good day to be in that digital dog show, ain't it? That's what y'all should have had y'all at. Y'all should have had y'all ass in that digital dog show. You know what I'm saying? Trying to or are you in one of them ADBA dog shows? You know, I say the digital because we represent that. You should have had your ass in that instead of being on Facebook doing what them folks say you was doing. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all folk too grown to be thinking them telegrams and them, them, them uh, whatsapps and all that stuff is safe. There's nothing safe. Any technology you got can be tampered with when it comes to that type of stuff. The only safe way to, to, to be is playing the right way. That shit hurts y'all when brothers tell y'all that. You want me to be an old gray hair ass man telling you, oh man, you should move, go the right way, do this, do that. It, it hurts you to, to see me telling you, and you try to look down on me, me telling you, yo, you ain't doing it right. That's why I tell y'all, y'all era is over. There's a new dog era. You know, a lot of y'all can't even fit in. You don't know how to fit in. That's why you go to Facebook and get yourself busted. These brothers on YouTube doing all kind of stuff with dogs. People tired of y'all lying to them. You know what I'm saying? So then y'all get on Facebook and start getting desperate. Doing all kind of shit on Facebook for, for puppy sales. Like I said before, them Puma sales, they bought out the dough. Puma bought the most overrated dog that we ran through over the last 10 years. Now that's an overrated one. You know, overrated. Puma overrated and his owners washed up. Washed up. And like I said before, Titan, talk about the trouble that you've been in. <laughs> we ain't talking about it got something to do with this trouble. We talking about talking about the trouble you've been in to help save another brother from getting in trouble. Help make him make the right decisions. Y'all punk ass motherfuckers gonna help one of these days. You know, <laughs> one of these good old days. Y'all will understand. Y'all will, because you ain't gonna have no other choice but to go the legal route. 
but to do the right things when it comes to these dogs. You know? But to do the right things. Y'all want to talk about history, but this is history in y'all face being made. You know? These brothers that's out here in this dog game making a difference in the dog game today on a positive note. Today. It's history being made, but you don't recognize it. You want to recognize some people who wouldn't even let you in their house or eat with you or feed you if you needed to be fed or if you was hungry or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter what color it was. You know? I'm representing my dogs. <laughs> Your dogs. Her dogs. His dogs. But not them old school ass shits. And like I said, man, a lot of y'all brothers washed up and don't know when you're washed up. You know what I'm saying? Washed up and don't know when you're washed up. You know, and, and for the brothers who got careers out here doing the right things, with they, how can you uh, lie to yourselves like affiliating with certain things is going to look good on your behalf? It don't matter what your profession is. You know what I'm saying? You can't be affiliated with the bullshit. And that's why they get mad at me. And that's why they, a lot of them can't stand me. And that's why a lot of them talk all kind of shit. But they ain't going to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Ain't going to do a damn thing. And if they do something, then something going to get did back. So what? I mean, it is what it is. You... You want to stay off YouTube? Stay off. St stop getting on Facebook trying to impress people. Whether you're talking trash about somebody or lying about something or talking about something you shouldn't be talking about. <laughs> I get on Facebook for, for promotion. To promote my dog training, to promote my dog channel, to promote whatever. Promotion. I don't even get on Facebook for personal reasons no more. I don't even use my personal channel. It's all promotion for me. Because I know what what is out there. You know. I know what is out there. I'm not an idiot. I'm not stupid. The same reason I, you know, uh, I'm going to just leave it at that, that, man. I'm going to leave it at that. Leave that at that. And, and, and like I said. Another dog video. Y'all check this out. You know what I'm saying? Y'all check this out. He ain't talking about Raw Bull or none of them. You know what I'm saying? But he is talking about dog fighting in general. Up to date times. This, this video is a new video. Y'all check this out. Know y'all got it from first. PBK Nines. Giving it to you. We are always give it to you. My name is Garrett Wing. I'm a retired police lieutenant with the City of Miami Police Department, where I spent the majority of my career working in the canine unit as both a canine handler and a supervisor. I am now the owner and founder of American Standard Dog Training and DIYK9.com, where we help both law enforcement canine handlers and civilian dog owners train their dogs to be the best that they can be. Today, I want to speak to you about illegal dog fighting and more specifically how it may be happening in your own jurisdiction, how illegal dog fighting can intersect cases you may already be working on, how brutal this crime is, and the penalties for those involved. Furthermore, we're going to talk about some of the signs to look out for when it comes to illegal dog fighting and how you can partner with your community to help stem this illegal practice that is still alive and well. Now, we haven't heard much about illegal dog fighting since way back in 2008 when it was in the limelight concerning Michael Vick, who was arrested and convicted and ended up spending two years in prison for his involvement in illegal dog fighting. But since then, we haven't heard much about it. But today, I wanna let you know that illegal dog fighting is still alive and well, and again, could be happening in your own backyard. I'd also like to make you aware that when it comes to the illegal dog fighting, it often correlates with many other illegal activities, including narcotics trafficking, illegal weapons, and even human trafficking. So when it comes to targeting dog fighting, law enforcement can uncover and dismantle networks engaged in these crimes, which can enhance your community's safety. 
Next, let's talk about how you as a law enforcement professional might stumble across an illegal dogfighting ring during the course of your normal patrol work or a criminal investigation. So for instance, when doing say a phone dump or a search warrant of a home or a business or in the course of an interview or a wiretap, it's possible that you may uncover evidence related to an illegal dogfighting ring. Unfortunately, departments, no matter their size, do not often dedicate manpower towards addressing the specific criminal activity of dogfighting. Therefore, it goes unchecked, unchallenged, and often ignored. It is not the type of investigation most detectives are familiar with and often lays outside of their specific roles within their department. The point being, if you are working patrol, narcotics, gangs, or even homicide, you may be the first and only investigator to come across this information and there may not be anyone in your department to pass this case off to. So I encourage you to not let these cases slip through the cracks, but instead use them as an opportunity to further your own case and potentially use it as an inroads into bigger cases that likely will involve narcotics trafficking, illegal firearms possession, and even violation of federal law. Now, under federal law, it is illegal not only to fight dogs in a venture that affects interstate commerce, but also to possess train, transport, deliver, sell, purchase, or receive dogs for fighting purposes. So whether investigating illegal dog fighting is just your inroad into your investigation, a parallel criminal activity, the federal nexus that you need for additional funding, or just added ammunition to your case should your case go to trial in front of a judge or jury, I think we can all agree that for all of these reasons, illegal dog fighting is a serious crime that we need to pay special attention to. Next, I would like to discuss the brutality of this crime because most of us aren't aware of what's happening in these underground illegal dogfighting rings. First and foremost, the length of these fights is not just mere minutes. Sometimes these dogfights can last up to an hour or longer and they usually only end one of two ways. One is if the dog is killed in the ring or two, the fight is getting so bad it's inevitable that one of these dogs is gonna get killed, so the owner of the dog will throw in a towel to try to rescue the dog. Now, by the time that dog is rescued, the injuries are so significant that these dogs are sometimes still put down. Now, the manner in which they're put down is never humane. They are not taken to a vet because the vets are very aware of this and would notify law enforcement. So the veterinary care that is offered to these animals is not happening at a vet's office. It's gonna happen in someone's home or in the back of uh, somebody's van. Furthermore, it's not just one dog fight that's happening happening at these events, it's typically an entire day or an entire weekend in which dozens and dozens of dogs are pitted against each other, resulting in the death of dozens and dozens of dogs. Furthermore, when they do post-mortem examinations of the dogs that are killed in this sport, it is not uncommon to find that these dogs are injected with steroids, cocaine, and even methamphetamines to try to improve their chances at winning in this sport. Now, the sad part is, even if these dogs are rescued from these circumstances, the chances of them being rehabilitated back into normal society or being adopted by a loving family is slim to none. The mental and physical trauma that these dogs endure is sometimes too much for them to get over and they end up being put down anyway. So very sad state of affairs. Now I'd like to shortly discuss some of the penalties that exist for criminals who partake in this illegal activity. Now, the penalties for illegal dogfighting can vary widely depending on the jurisdiction and the specific charges involved. However, generally dogfighting is considered a felony in all 50 states and under federal law with potential penalties including imprisonment, substantial fines, and probation. The length of prison time can vary from one year to more than 10 years depending on the severity of the offense, prior convictions, and whether interstate commerce was involved. Additionally, individuals convicted of dogfighting may also face animal ownership bans, mandatory counseling, and restitution for the care of seized animals. Now, here are some signs to look for as a law enforcement professional should you come across an illegal dogfighting ring. There are several indicators of dogfighting activities, including the presence of dogs with multiple scars, dogfighting pits, canine-related equipment, including cages, dog treadmills, and makeshift training devices like weights and sleds that you may come across in someone's basement or in a backyard. An unusually large quantity of pit bulls or other bully type of breeds being kept in one location, especially if they appear neglected, emaciated, locked in cages, or tied up on chains. Now, should you come across any of these warning signs, I would encourage you to investigate further to determine if there is in fact any illegal dogfighting happening on the premise. Last but not least, I think it's important that we not only educate, but continue to partner with the folks in our community, make them aware of these types of crimes, and let them know that you wanna know about it. Because again, 
These types of things are not happening in isolation. They're happening in people's backyards. They're happening in people's basement. So neighbors are gonna be made aware and they might be the first to know about it. And it's important to let them know that you wanna know about it because they're gonna help to amplify your message and be the eyes and ears in the neighborhood so that we can help to put a stop to these types of crimes. In closing, I'd like to thank you for your time in watching this video, and I hope that we've been able to educate you a little bit and maybe shed a little bit of light on what's been an underground illegal criminal activity that's been going on for hundreds of years. But again, it's still prevalent. It may be in your jurisdiction. And now that we've had this discussion, I hope that should you come across it, you're now more well-informed and have a better idea of what you can do, what part you can play in helping to combat this illegal criminal activity that again is still alive and well today. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you. Now, I guess you heard that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and big salute out, like I always say, big shout out and salute to the brothers that be down in the chat, making a reckless comments, saying a reckless stuff. Oh, he's a Peter supporter. He's a this, a he's a that, man. Say what you wanna say. You are irrelevant right about now. You know what I'm saying? You're irrelevant right about now. Um, folk just folk just see it themselves, man. You just got to put it out there for folk to see it themselves and let these brothers who make all these dumbass comments just make them. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is, man. At the end of the day, the real dog is going to be around. <laughs> and the ones who can't understand that this ain't that same era, this ain't the same times, you ain't, <laughs> you can't do the same things. Until they understand that, it's just going to keep happening. I'm just going to keep getting this news week after week after week after week. It's going to keep coming. It ain't going to change until brothers change the system. You know what I'm saying? It ain't going to change until you change the system. And like I said before, this ain't a system where you, you try to act like you change. And then you you still over here doing this and doing that. Man, nah, listen, man. You can't trust nobody out here in this dog game. You know what I'm saying? Nobody. Because this man over here doing right today, but he's still dibbing and dabbing in other stuff, and then he get in some trouble. Now, he find an easy way out to do this and do that, and he find an easy way out to do this, not let it lead to your kennel. So what's the whole point, period? You know what I'm saying? Find something else to do with them things. You know, use that Bolio, that Jeep, that Eli, and that, all that other stuff for other things. Like I said before, money is money, right? Or you just don't got that same reputation that you would have had with that dog. People just don't know you for having that good, that killer dog. But your dog can still be the shit. He can still be the shit. But you don't have that ego to go behind it. But your ego can still be big if you teach that dog how to do that stuff legitimately. A different kind of dog, man, man. Different kind of dog, man. That's why I tell y'all, sit your ass down. Y'all old school ass, washed up ass dog, man. Sit down. You know? <laughs> Some of y'all young dog, man, washed up before y'all even know it. Y'all already washed up and y'all ain't even, y'all still green and washed up already. Don't even know it, man. Don't even know it. It's sad too, man. The sad part about it, you know? Walking around here with a felony on a leash. Just a matter of fucking time. With the ignorance that you show on a daily basis. You know? With the ignorance you show on a daily basis. With all my dogs from now on. They will only go to certain homes. From the Malawas to the Pit Bulls. My Malawas, if you're not paying... $2,000, $2,000, it depends on how many I have. If you're not paying that, don't even talk to me about no damn Molly You know what I'm saying? Don't even talk to me about it if you're not trying to pay what them dogs cost. It depends on what I'm I decide I'm selling them for, but they will not be cheap. You know what I'm saying? I will not sell no dog for the price that you can afford. If you can't afford it, stay where you at. You know? It just be too much involved with folk that shouldn't be having certain dogs anyway when it comes to pit bulls especially. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, it's just too much, man. Uh, with me, at the end of the day, like I said, you better learn how to make a dog sit and stay and all that and get you a gig doing that. <laughs> Titan, Craig. That's you, Craig. <laughs> hey, I tell y'all what, man. What y'all brothers gonna do, man? What y'all gonna do? Y'all all around here wondering what Hollywood and Coy and the rest of them gonna do. Y'all all wondering what they gonna do. Half of y'all talking about them behind their back, and the other half talking about them behind their back, and then talking to them and they smiling in their face. Coy, half of them smiling in your face. Now, I seen what they was posting on Facebook about you. You know what I'm saying? I seen what they was posting on Facebook from the men to the women, Coy. Don't let them smile in your face. No, don't let them smile in your face, Coy. No, man. They, they talk about you behind your back, see? You know? I ain't going to talk about you behind your back. I ain't going to talk about your period. I'm just giving you this news and telling you what I see out there. They posting shit about you, and then they get right up under there, up under your page with you comment, and they acting like they're your friends, and they ain't your friends, Coy. So don't get up on Facebook trying to impress and prove nothing to no, nobody. You got to prove something to them judges, them lawyers, them, them prosecutors, and them jurors, and all that other stuff. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, brothers out here going through real stuff when it comes to these dogs. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about these brothers, you know, because we heard all them charges. You know, we're talking serious charges. Y'all brothers think dog fighting, y'all think, oh, I'm going to get an animal cruelty charges. Not knowing that when you get your charge, now you got not everybody, but just so happy you got racketeering, you got money laundering, you got all this other stuff. Y'all do know racketeering is RICO, right? Y'all do know that's what that means, right? That's just the first word in the RICO thing, right? Y'all don't know what that means, right? And just because it's not fed, RICO is a RICO. Right? And y'all do know how the Fed and the state work, right? You do know the state gonna handle it because they know they can handle it. If they feel like they can't handle it, then they got their big brothers to handle it. You see? Now, at the end of the day, what we ain't gonna do, you know, is act like we don't see and hear this damn news that's going on out here. But, hey, to each his own. Like I said, Pelican Bay, just to give the news. When I came in this shit, I said my name was Geraldo Hirsch. A lot of y'all didn't understand that. He was too simple-minded to even understand what I was talking about when I said my name was Geraldo Hirsch. News anchor. Geraldo, you just playing with the words. Geraldo Hirsch. Some of y'all thought that was my real name. But hey, it is what it is, man. Keep giving it to you. Raw and uncut, fair and unbiased. Y'all hit that like button up. Like I said, if you want to donate to the channel, dollar sign Pelican Bay K9s. Giving it to you the way I always give it to you. You know what I'm saying? The way I always give it to you. Now, let me ask you something. You know, Brother Coy, since I see y'all posting all these Facebook stuff up there, the police talking about it, the hell, I might as well talk about it. How in the hell can y'all be involved with racketeering, money laundering, and all this other type of stuff, and you get on Facebook telling brothers to hit you on some type of cash app to link them into some type of racketeering, money laundering, and all type of shit? Y'all brothers do not think when it comes to, I just don't... I just don't know what the hell to do when it comes to this damn dog game no more. Y'all, y'all just act like y'all don't got no damn common sense at all. You know, no common sense at all. But like I keep saying, keep doing what y'all doing because that's job security for them, job security for the bay. Because I'm going to keep giving you that damn news. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep giving you that, that damn news. You know what I'm saying? I don't got to have one single dog in my yard. You know, I'm going to give you the news. You know, from one side of the world to the other side of the world. Y'all stay legal out there. Y'all stay safe out there. And remember, these big dog channels. Nah, let me take that back. These big dog kennels out here running around with their head cut off. 
like chickens. Run around like a chicken with your head cut off. Or a rabbit. You ever seen a rabbit with his head cut off? He run around the same way. Y'all don't know what's going on. But y'all waiting on my next video. Because you know I'm going to keep you intact. 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 <laughs> hey, better get y'all shit together. Get on that legal end. Hey, we might have it a little hard. We might not get as much as clientele, the clout, and the, 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 the props y'all boys get. But I'll be damned, it feels good to be free. It feels good to be free. It feels good to be free. Y'all stay safe out there, legal out there, PBK9s, and I'm the fuck out.